Baylor men's basketball. Uh, Jalen Bridges from West Virginia entered the transfer portal uh, and committed today to Baylor. I think he might have committed when he was in Waco over the weekend, but today made it official. He'll join us in about 8 to 10 minutes, and Baylor adds talent. Now, he's not the perfect player, but at the same time, he fits what seems to be what Baylor brings in when it comes to transfer. Well, they don't really have, I mean, with Jeremy Sohan leaving and uh, probably Matthew Meyer and, uh, you know, Kendall Brown, like, who do they have that's the six seven wing that's kind of a three and D guy? I mean, who do they have that does that? Well, they're going to have a bunch of guards, Craig, and they all can shoot it. We know that, and they all can even be better than they were, and even healthier, of course, with Love, and also with uh, oh my good with the LJ Cryer. And it does seem like Jalen Bridges is somebody that understands that what his role would be based on what he did at West Virginia, and based on what I'm sure Baylor's talked to him about when it comes to when he joins the Bears. Well, yeah, I would hope so. I would hope that was part of the discussion is what his role would be. So, yeah, I mean, I'm sure that that was a conversation that they had and, you know, they discussed how he would fit in. I mean, as Paul said, he's not a guy. He's not like, you know, scoring 20 points a game last year and, you know, 20 and 10 every night or anything like that. But uh, he obviously had some traits that they liked uh, and felt would, uh, you know, mesh well with the pieces that they already have on campus and I guess what they expect to have you know, ultimately when the dust settles. But, uh, you know, obviously got to see him up close and personal, um, you know, and, uh, you know, I like to pick up. Uh, I don't know exactly how he fits in or exactly how they see him fitting in. I'm sure the, the more basketball-minded folks will, will fill us in on all those details and how they view it. But, uh, you know, good to see them active. They obviously needed to replace some guys. So here's a, here's a replacement. And uh, here's a guy that you hope comes in and just keeps the, the ship sailing forward at a fast uh, rate of speed like it has been these last couple of years. Yeah, and, and he does – there's no question they you'll have to learn to play defense better. He'll have to shoot it better. He'll have to understand during certain moments. It's not he's not again. Uh, I talked to him for just a little bit on the phone and asked him to come on with us. He'll join us here in five minutes. He seems thrilled. West Virginia fans, there are some that are like, man, that sucks. You're in conference. This is one of the times when Baylor has taken somebody within the Big 12 because we know what the reaction's been from Baylor fans when a coach or player's gone to another school within the Big 12. So this is kind of a rarity that Transfer Portal know but bringing somebody in who's been playing for another school is. Yeah, but uh, Jalen Bridges, yeah, he's going to have to get better at a lot of things, but he is somebody who can play pretty good defense. He can block some shots. He's got a long wingspan. And again, he's they don't have that guy on the roster right now. They've got a lot of guards, and they've got a lot of, you know, they've got a couple of guys who, who you know, are at power positions, uh, one of whom may not play at all next year in, in Jonathan Chambuchachua. So, they have to be ready to to kind of mash down low a little bit, even though their guards are going to, I mean, between the, you know, the four we know about and Langston Love, LJ Cryer, Adam Flagler, and Keontae George are probably going to do great. You still need somebody to kind of clean things up for you a little bit. And they, they don't have that right now, especially if Matthew Meyer does, as pretty much everybody expects, move on. The last several games that he played is high in, uh, in uh, I guess it was early March against TCU was 10. He scored 18 against Texas Tech at a loss, scored 11 or 14 against Iowa State in a win, 22 against Oklahoma State back in January in a win. So he has put up numbers. Texas, he scored 18 in a 15-point loss. But uh, for the most part, he's going to be in that neighborhood neighborhood of eight or nine points six or five or six or four rebounds and then does some of the other stuff as well but they needed somebody to play that wing or forward position and it does appear of course with Jeremy Sohan Kendall Brown gone they've made that decision it's just imminent most likely Matthew Meyer based on just talking to Jalen that that probably is next and and that would make sense now if Matthew Meyer changes his mind well, then you have depth. You have even more depth uh, with what Jalen Bridges brings to the table. But I got a feeling we all feel that Matthew Meyer is on his way out. Uh, also.